Hi there, welcome to the channel. If you have not been here before, my name's Matthew and I do things on WordPress. And today we're talking about an advanced feature in WordPress called the Action Scheduler. Now I've made a plugin for the Action Scheduler that helps clean out old logs within the Action Scheduler. But before we go further, let's understand a little bit about what the Action Scheduler actually does. So if you have a website with WooCommerce, event calendar or any other advanced plugin, quite often there's a requirement for a background task to happen. Now, background tasks are things like sending emails, sending reminders, or maybe running a subscription billing, checking stock levels, talking to APIs, these kinds of features. Because you have a WordPress website, you need a way for these to run without running through the front end. You don't want the front end of your website when customers come to your website to slow down because of a background task. Enter Action Scheduler. These are scheduled actions that run on any specific time frame or on demand and are run by your WordPress website. Now this is great because it all gets deferred and handled quietly behind the scenes. But the problem comes in when those log files, the log entries and the actions of what's all happened starts to build a very large list in your database. And it makes your database run out of control sometimes in its sizing. That's when the action scheduler cleaner comes in. If you have a large, large log, we're talking over 100,000 entries being created every 30 days. Sometimes I've seen sites with millions of entries every 30 days. It will slow down your database. To deal with that, you need to clean it out. Let's go ahead, install this premium plugin and get started. Now, well, whoa, 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 don't leave. Yes, it's premium, but I'm giving you a discount as well in this video. So if you want a discount, check the description below, grab that coupon and use it when you check out to save 50%. All right, let's jump on in. All right, so the first thing to do is to go to the MRKWP website and purchase Action Scheduler. Just click on the Buy Now button. That will load up the payment system and uh, make sure you enter any promotional code that you have. Um, you can check the description of this video for a promo code. Put in your first name, last name, use credit card or PayPal to make sure that the payment goes through and you'll then get an email where you can download the Action Schedule Cleaner. So on this particular site, we have a number of different scheduled actions that we want to clean up. So normally, you know, you'll see something like this. So I've got all my scheduled actions, the complete items, failed and pending items. And there's no way really to bulk action anything except to you know, change things with your screen options and quite often that will crash your site. So that's not a great way to go. On top of that, it won't deal with the problem moving forward. So what we need to do is go to add the new plugin and we're gonna add the action schedule cleaner. So click upload, select that file from wherever you've downloaded it and click install now. Activate the plugin. Once activated, you'll have to add your license key that will come in the email that you've received from MRKWP on your first purchase. Paste your license key in there. And you can choose if you wanna get security and feature updates or anything like that. I don't really send those out very often, so whether you do it or not is entirely up to you. Um, and then we click activate. And that will take you straight to the cleanup action scheduler. So the first thing you wanna do is go through the duration settings and batch sizes and things. So the duration, you wanna change that right there. I would recommend if you're doing WooCommerce to around seven days. This means you have a week of logs. Most of the time, if something goes wrong with your uh, WooCommerce website, you know generally pretty quickly and you can go and take a look at that action scheduler and see anything that's, you know, within seven days, that's gonna give you the information. By setting this to seven days, instead of the default 30 days, you're gonna reduce the size of that log significantly. It ends up being about a quarter of the size. Next is the batch size. So action scheduler claims 25 actions. Um, you can increase that if you want. So I could put that to 50 or whatever. For most people, you can leave that the same. The second one is concurrent batches. How many batches do you want at a time? You can up that to two. Now, default action scheduler um, claims um, can run for up to five minutes. 
So we'll just leave that. And then we've got this time limit here. Now, time limit does depend on a little bit about you know what hosting you're using. So for example, if you're with WP Engine, the maximum is 60 seconds. So you don't really want to put anything more than 60 in there. Depending on your host though, that might be 90 seconds. It might be, you know, 120. So it really comes down to identifying that with your host. I think that a time limit of 60 is adequate because most of the time the scheduled action tool or the action scheduler is being run by the cron job within your website. And that means that that runs every minute. So if you're doing that every minute, seeing that 60 is good, and then just click save. This now means that those claimed actions can run in the background. Any single action, you know, can go up to 60 seconds. And now your log will no longer grow really quickly. Now, the thing that we'll now notice is that scheduled, the scheduled actions now have a couple of different buttons available. First is my complete items. I've got this little trash can now next to that. If I click it, it says, are you sure you want to delete all your complete actions? If I say, okay, that will go ahead and delete all of those. Same for failed. You'll notice that pending and all doesn't have a button. The reason being that pending actions quite often are the areas that are repeating. So in this particular site, I have a task that runs every hour that looks at any new items um, in my guides area and helps work out how long each of the guides are in my e-learning area. So these run every hour and I don't want them to be removed. I want them to stay there. So I don't want to delete those pending items. Failed items, you know, you might want to delete them and complete items, same, you can just delete. Now, if you've got numbers like this, like 14, 60 and one, then by all means, click that button and click okay, and that will clear it out. If your log's a bit bigger, which a lot of people have, like I cleared one out just the other day that had, you know, one and a half million entries in it. That was a big log. To do that, you wanna run the fast clear logs item in the sidebar menu, or if you go to the cleanup scheduler, click instant clear logs right here. When I click that, that goes ahead and creates a background task. And this will now start clearing out all these log entries in the background. Should take no more than five minutes to run and runs every minute for most websites uh, to run through and clean everything out. So now if I go to scheduled actions, you'll notice that I've actually got a pending item and a past due item. So if I just refresh there until we get down to you know zero seconds, I've got three more seconds there, refresh again, and then you'll see that's now begun. So that action in progress has now been finished off and we'll notice everything there is all cleared out. So I've got my two pending items that was as before, failed item, which isn't impacted by this instant clean out. So that was something that was run before. So I'm just gonna delete that. And now I've got a complete item. What is the complete item? It's called the clear DB hook. This comes from the MRK WP action schedule cleaner. And this is the item that we just ran with that instant sync. So if at any time your log gets too big, say seven, you set your item to seven days and it's still getting too big, run the fast clear logs that will clear it out relatively quickly and can be run on a production website without any risk of it causing things crashing or anything like that. So what is a large log? When you should should you use that one? Generally, whenever you have more than, well, in the, when you're in the 10,000s, I'd probably start considering it, but certainly 100,000 or higher, you want to use the background clearing tool. So that's the scheduled actions tool. That now clips everything nice and clear. And because I've got all these settings now set, now I won't end up with such a big log anymore. It's seven days, everything clears out by itself. I'm running a bit more effectively on how quickly my action scheduler can run concurrent batches. So that means that if my action scheduler was running things slowly, it should speed up a little bit more now. And if things were timing out, well, I've given a little bit more time behind the scenes. Well, I hope you liked that video and are considering purchasing the action scheduler cleaner. Now, if you do want to do this manually, I do have a blog article on that too. Check out the video somewhere here in the play next. Check out the playlist on all things WooCommerce as well if you're running a WooCommerce site. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to know more about WordPress, free tutorials, free plugins, whatever it is, leave a comment below and I'll make a tutorial about it. I'll see you in the next video.